boys and girls from grade 5. Welcome to our new book 5A. This is Nufal Gattan and today we're going to present episode 6 from unit 4, Read to Lead. We will focus on punctuation and writing composition. Let's check our previous homework. You had a homework at your pupil's book, page 53, and you had to use the story map to write about a visit to the book fair. Let's check our answers together. Fill in the following story map. Use the story map to write your story about today at the book fair. The following idea books may help you. The idea books, where you went and when, things you did there, how you felt by the end of the day. Your topping sentence, I went to the book fair with mum. First, I saw all kinds of books. Next, I bought a storybook. After that, I got a book for my dad by his favorite writer. Finally, I went back home excitedly. All right, boys and girls, let's move to the writing. Remember the rules of punctuation. Remember to capitalize when needed and remember to use a full stop at the end of your sentence and remember to use a question mark after the question. Let's practice some punctuation together. Punctuate the following sentences. Reading is fun. Reading is fun. Excellent! The letter R here is capitalized because it is the beginning of my sentence and I end up my sentence with a full stop. Number two, it is Dana's book. It is Dana's book. Excellent! The letter D here is capitalized because it's a name for girl, Dana. And then we have the apostrophe before the letter S to show that this book belongs to Dana. This is the possessive S. And after we finish our sentence, we end up our sentence with a full stop. All right, boys and girls, you do have a homework. Go to your workbook, page 25, and punctuate the sentences correctly. As the first one is already done for you, Dad is a good reader. He likes information, history, science, and sports books. So you have to punctuate it. The first letter D is capitalized because it is the beginning of my sentence. And then there is a full stop after reader because I'm going to start another sentence. The letter H here is capitalized because it's the beginning of my second sentence. And then full stop after I finish my sentence. Excellent. I'll leave the second one for you and we will check them next time. Now. Writing rubrics. Number one, graphic organizer. Answer the given guiding questions using phrases, not words, not sentences, but phrases. Number two, paragraph. Use the phrases to write complete sentences in your paragraph. State the main idea, organize your ideas, add supporting details, and make your last sentence a conclusion. I will repeat again, boys and girls. Paragraph. Use the phrases to write complete sentences in your paragraph. State the main idea. Organize your ideas. Add supporting details. And make your last sentence a conclusion. All right, boys and girls. This is the rubric for writing. We use it as teachers to check your answers. Pre-writing techniques, graphic organizer. Go to your graphic organizer, answer your questions and fill in the details needed. Exploration of ideas and number of sentences. Here you have to add lots of middle details in your story or paragraph. Write in full sentences please. Layout and format. Follow the correct format and layout. If it's an email or it is a paragraph or even a story. Follow the correct grammar and spelling. Write in clear and clean handwriting and follow the rules of punctuation. 
Tips for writing. Use the correct punctuation marks. Vary your ideas. Write full sentences. Check your spelling. Again, use the correct punctuation marks. Vary your ideas. Write full sentences. Check your spelling. Before you write, what are the names of the following former rulers of Kuwait? Take a look at this picture and try to find out the answer. Fill in the graphic organizer, then use it to write a paragraph about reading is my favorite hobby. The following guide words may help you. Present, scary, look at, traditional, learn. The words again, present, scary, look at, traditional, learn. Remember boys and girls, fill in the graphic organizer, then use it to write a paragraph about reading is my favorite hobby with the help of these guide words. Your topic sentence, what is your favorite hobby and why? Your first detail, how did you learn this hobby? The second detail, how can you choose a good book? The third detail, when do you usually read? And your conclusion, what kinds of books do you like to read? Answer these questions. Topic sentence, what is your favorite hobby and why? Our phrase is, reading because I can learn a lot of new information. So this is my topic sentence. I answered the question, what is your favorite hobby and why? Reading because I can learn a lot of new information. The first detail of my story, how did you learn this hobby? My father used to read for me. The second detail, how can you choose a good book? By reading the title and understanding words. The third detail, when do you usually read? before going to bed. My conclusion, what kinds of books do you like to read? Story books. Excellent boys and girls. Let's see. Topic sentence. What is your favorite hobby and why? Reading, because I can learn a lot of new information. And I have three details in here. Detail number one, how did you learn this hobby? My father used to read for me. The second detail, how can you choose a good book? By reading the title and understanding words. The third detail, when do you usually read? Before going to bed. And my conclusion, what kinds of books do you like to read? Story books. Now, let's write a paragraph about reading is my favorite hobby. Remember boys and girls, this is our title and organize your ideas before you begin writing. Reading is my favorite hobby. This is my title. Let's see our topic sentence. What is your favorite hobby and why? We answered, reading, because I can learn lots of new information. I'll take my answer and I will extend it to make a full correct English sentence. Remember, boys and girls, leave a space before starting writing your paragraph. Let's see our answer here. My favorite hobby is reading because I can learn a lot of new information and I can travel to different places in different times. Excellent. Let's see our first detail. How did you learn this hobby? My father used to read for me. This is my first detail. Now I'll take it and I will extend it to make a full correct sentence. My father used to read for me when I was young and it became one of my favorite hobbies. Excellent. The second detail, how can you choose a good book? We answered already by reading the title and understanding words. So we will take this answer and we will make a full correct sentence. My father told me that it is important to choose a good book by reading the title and understanding most of the words. Now the third detail, when do you usually read? We answered before going to bed. 
So I'll take this answer and I will make a full correct sentence. I usually read before going to bed. My conclusion here, what kinds of books do you like to read? We answered already story books. So I'll make a full correct sentence from this phrase. I like reading different kinds of books because I can meet imaginary friends from different parts of the world. Excellent boys and girls. Now let's read the paragraph about reading is my favorite hobby. Our title, reading is my favorite hobby. My favorite hobby is reading because I can learn a lot of new information and I can travel to different places in different times. My father used to read for me when I was young and it became one of my favorite hobbies. My father told me that it is important to choose a good book by reading the title and understanding most of the words. I usually read before going to bed. I like reading different kinds of books because I can meet imaginary friends from different parts of the world. Excellent boys and girls. Now I'm going to repeat our paragraph again and let's read it together. My favorite hobby is reading because I can learn a lot of new information and I can travel to different places in different times. My father used to read for me when I was young and it became one of my favorite hobbies. My father told me that it is important to choose a good book by reading the title and understanding most of the words. I usually read before going to bed. I like reading different kinds of books because I can meet imaginary friends from different parts of the world. All right, boys and girls, you do have a homework. Go back to your pupil's book, page 56. Read, then write your own thank card. Read Saad's thank you card to the Emir of Kuwait, Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah. Then write your own card. Our kind father and wise ruler. This is your topic sentence. Try to finish your letter and then we will check them together. All right, boys and girls, we have reached the end of today's episode. And in this episode, we learned how to use punctuation marks and write a short paragraph about reading is my favorite hobby. Thank you for watching us for today and we hope to see you next time. Goodbye.